Hey, good morning, sweetie. Uh, breakfast is almost ready. Hey, you wake yet, sunshine? Hey, come on, we got some uh, freshly squeezed lemonade. I know how much you like that. so angry. I mean, he destroys our family and he just gets to go on with his life. He's guilt-free and happy. I wouldn't be sure about that. Now how could you possibly know? Well, remember how last night I made us leave the first restaurant? It was because I saw Jerry there. What? Why didn't you because tell me? I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Well, you still should have told me. I swear I would have... Would have what? I don't know. Done something. Punched him. Punished him. Something. I made a scene in front of your daughter. Exactly why I didn't tell you. The whole point of us leaving was so she didn't have to see him. Trigger some sort of response, but I think she put a subconscious glimpse. That's why she's having the nightmares again. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He devastates us, and he gets to trot along unscathed. Well, that's what I'm saying. In the glimpse I caught him, he looked sort of distraught, miserable, sad. Good. Serves him right. I still think that he's in the same area as us. Yeah. Well, we couldn't move farther away without jeopardizing both our jobs. I know, I know. I just thought of it makes my skin crawl. Look, she's going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Oh my god. What? It's just... Mark, what is it? Jerry's wife is dead. What? The local resident Jerry Fitzpatrick has been charged with the brutal murder of his wife, Elaine Fitzpatrick. She was found dead in her living room yesterday evening with multiple stab wounds to her neck and chest. Forensics place time of death at approximately 5.06 p.m. DNA and fingerprints sealed Mr. Fitzpatrick's fate and put him in police custody. Oh my god. You want him to get justice? I'd say he doesn't get any more than that. Uh, I just can't believe this. Never been more happy to get out of a neighborhood before. What is it? What time did we get out of that restaurant? Five? Five. Well, how could this be true? What do you mean? I mean, we leave the restaurant at five. You saw Jerry there. We leave about ten minutes later, so how could he have been at home murdering his wife? You're saying he didn't do it? I already have. Yeah. You're not making sense to me. He's going to jail. So what if it's for a murder he didn't? He's getting justice. You of all people shouldn't be questioning this. Look, don't get me wrong. I want to punish as much as you do, but I want it to happen for the right reasons. And look, if this is a crime you didn't commit, we got to do something. This coming from the man who not 10 minutes ago said he would have punched him out yesterday? Now you want to defend him? Well, I can't because I didn't see him. So you'd have to. I'm not defending that monster for anything. But what would we be teaching our children if we don't correct the wrongs people make? Don't you dare bring my children into this. Look, we need to lead by example. What example? Would we be setting for our child defending the man who raped her? Did you forget that, David? 
This man raped your daughter. And you want me to step up and keep him from jail? Your daughter is hurting so much right now. And I see this as closure for her. She may be able to feel safe again. The nightmares can stop. We could really have our daughter back. That's what we want, right? For now, I think it's best if we just drop this. Here it says the house was disabled and the windows were broken. Oh my god, why are we still on this? Look, I mean, there's clearly signs of a break in here. So you're a detective now? Lead this to the police. All right. It's wrong to just ignore this. Look, if this was anyone else, we'd act immediately. You can't compare this man to anyone else. He has wronged us. You say it yourself. He destroyed this family with a single action and walked off unscathed. This is karma. Look, you said he was crying when you saw him, right? Maybe something horrible happened just before that. Maybe he had just killed his wife and was feeling guilty about it. Look, we have to consider all of the possibilities. If he didn't do this, that means there's a murderer running loose in our neighborhood. I'm not having our family put at risk. Look, the police are certain that he did it. They have enough evidence to lock him up, even if I did come forward. There's no reason to believe that it would make any difference, so I don't see the point in trying. So you condemn him? Yes. Why? What if it was me? Excuse me? No, honestly, what if it was me in his position right now? No, we're not doing this. I was accused of murdering my wife, but you clearly saw me somewhere else at the time. Would you just stay quiet? Did you really not even try to save me? No, I wouldn't. Really? Yes. You'd be fine knowing that innocent man was going to go down for a crime he didn't commit. You no, know he's not innocent, though. Who is? That's my point. Look, none of us are innocent of wrongdoing. But Lauren, I just don't want you making decisions based purely on emotion. You condemning him is basically saying that you're more sure than he is, but I know for a fact that's not true. Look, do you remember how a few years back when I was the first responder at the hospital? Look, I came on a crash, responded to a crash that you were involved in, and when I got there, you said two words. I'm sorry. The guy you were flirting with. The guy I hoped you weren't sleeping with. My friend. I, I told you he was dead when I got him. But that's not true. I got on the scene and I saw that both of you were leaving. I saw you needed attention, but I couldn't guarantee that I was going to be able to save you. Better than this. I mean, it would take you 10 minutes and he was going to survive for certain. But I chose you. Because you were my wife. I loved you no matter what. I knew that no matter what sins you had committed, you would make beautiful, good decisions every day. Look, I don't regret my decision, and I thank God that you're still with me, but it haunts me that I couldn't say Derek. I mean, say I had lost you. I'm gonna say Derek too. I mean, what kills me is that he was as innocent as either of us, and I basically just killed him. That's not your fault. You were faced with an impossible decision that life threw at you. Yeah. Just like you're faced with one right now. Look, you have two choices here. You can just stay quiet and he's going to get convicted of murder, falsely. Or, you can go to the police, let them catch the real murderer, but then the man who raped our daughter gets to walk free. Lauren, what do you mean? 